Hey guys, welcome to Cocktail Friday. Hey, today we are doing a black eyed rye. And this one I'm pretty excited for because it calls for Sagamore Spirits Rye Whiskey and blackberry, lime juice, mint, and ginger beer. Well, that just sounds really good right now. So. I am excited. <laughs> The thing about this that got me so excited when you, Jamie was like, here's the ingredients, what do you think? And I said, oh yeah, because the first ingredient is Sagamore Spirit Rye Whiskey. Now, we could have gone with a regular Sagamore Spirit Rye, but why not go with a cast strength Sagamore Spirit Rye? Because if you're doing a cocktail, you might as well do it right. So this cocktail, basically, uh, it's fairly easy. It doesn't call for a lot of ingredients, but we've got this, we've got some ginger beer, we've got some blackberry syrup, and we've got some lime juice and mint leaves and that's pretty much it so all you do to make this is you take your cocktail shaker and even though we're going to call the ingredients out as like for one person i'm actually doubling them. for one you want one and a half ounces of rye whiskey and it calls for sagamore spirit rye obviously you can use something else and here's the double half an ounce of lime i'm gonna have to get in here and start helping you yep and that's the fresh squeeze lime that we uh, made upstairs now again we put in a full ounce because we're doubling it no not yet <laughs> this is very special to me this is blackberry simple syrup you know why it's special jamie because david made it in our kitchen hey we're in the kitchen we are making a blackberry simple syrup so if you're not familiar with the simple syrup all simple syrup is there's, it's so easy to make at home. You don't even have to buy it anymore. All you do to make a simple syrup, a basic simple syrup, is one part sugar and one part water. So do one cup of sugar, one cup of water, cook it until it's all dissolved, let it boil for a little bit, get some good bubbly action going on, then you're done. Let it cool off and then now you got a simple syrup. But today we're doing a blackberry simple syrup. All you have to do to make a blackberry simple syrup or any other fruit simple syrup is to do one cup of whatever the fruit is. So in our case, we're gonna do one cup of blackberry. We're gonna do one cup of water and then three quarters cup of granulated white sugar. So let's go ahead and get everything in. We're gonna then cook it over medium heat. One cup of granulated sugar. And now we're gonna take these blackberries we got here. One cup of blackberries, put that in there. Now we're just gonna heat it up. Now as you're doing this, you wanna stir it consistently and also beat up those raspberries or blueberries or strawberries, whatever you're putting here, in this case blackberries, but beat those up pretty regularly because you wanna break those down and get this syrup to be nice and dark. <clears throat> so after about 10 minutes, once all the berries have broken down, the sugar's well dissolved, it's gonna be this really beautiful, dark, rich looking like slurry. This is what you end up with, something kinda like this, right? Then after you remove it, all you do from here is just remove it from heat, let it cool down, and then we're gonna bottle it. I like to put it into a measuring cup. It makes it a lot easier to put it into the bottle. And then I picked up one of these little bottles. I've had it for a long time. Uh, it's just like a little ketchup style, old style bottle. And there you have it, a blackberry simple syrup that you can enjoy in your fridge. It'll stay good in your fridge for two or three weeks. So enjoy, add to your favorite cocktails. All right, and it calls for three quarters of an ounce of blackberry simple syrup. And so we doubled it so it's one and a half ounce. This looks good. Woo. Yeah. I just like splattered it. That's okay, this is cocktail Friday. <laughs> we make messes. Uh, on top of that, we're going to throw in uh, like three or four mint leaves and we're gonna okay. throw that in there. We'll do three just to be safe. Okay. And then we are going to add in some ice and then we're gonna shake it up. Now it's really important that you do not add the ginger beer to the cocktail shaker and shake it because it's, 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 it's carbonated and yeah. it'll, it'll explode <laughs> all over the place. So don't do that. So you're gonna fill your Collins glasses with ice. And we're gonna split it into two. And just remember, you still have to add the uh, ginger, ginger beer. beer. So then on top of that, we're going to add three ounces of ginger beer to each or until we get to the top of the glass, whichever comes first. Okay. We're using Gosling's ginger beer because we can and it's pretty solid. But pick the ginger beer you like most. Here, let's do your second one. Okay. 
Good. Okay, I'm gonna mix that up while David's pouring his in there. Okay, while David's stirring his, I'm gonna garnish mine with a mint leaf. Garnish me up, please. So this is a black-eyed rye. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. Very refreshing. The blackberry comes through, but it's not strong. It's very well balanced. Sometimes ginger beer has a tendency to kind of dominate. Yeah, I definitely get the, the, the blackberry syrup that you made. You did good. Well, if you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like Cocktail Friday. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Sometimes when you're making cocktails and you realize that your cocktail's got a nice whiskey in there, sometimes you just need to taste the whiskey. And this is the Sagamore Spirit Cast Strength. I gotta say it smells pretty. Like it has a very like soft sweetness, floral. That smells really good. Let you smell it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, like, I can taste like a really nice cherry on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a nice kind of a barrel, barrel oak to it, a little bit of char. Getting, definitely getting a little bit of that cherry you're talking about. Getting a little bit of a very kind of a fresh, hint of almost like a, a little bit of a sour mint, very faint. It's a pretty good rye though. Right. <laughs> sour mint, maybe it's from your cocktail. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago.